Good morning, Wolfpack Alawuo. Alawuo all to you too. <laughs> A prong goes down. I can't wait for these to roll all into effectiveness and defense. How about you guys? I can't wait to get my meteor quirk piece too. Actually, if these all rolled into, you know, you know, these are gonna roll all into attack. That's what's gonna freaking happen. Yeah, that's because the what's ring, gonna make the talk, ring yeah. didn't, the ring didn't. You know, let's just do it right now. Let's just get the pain over with, so it can be garbage like the. Uh, oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. I I'm thought we were doing, doing it later. Let me, no, let me get just, mine ready. Let me get I'm mine just doing ready. it. I'm just doing it right now. Okay, okay. Fuck it. I'm not I'm not doing I'm not doing You don't want to end your day on this? I'm not this? doing it straight to fifteen. No, it ruined my day last time. Th there we go. There we go. It's already started. Double fives into defense, baby. Double minimums into defense. Five is minimum on these, right? Yep. Can I get another five? Okay, it kind of made it up with a with a max roll into defense. So now we are very very average. I mean, it's it's about as mid as you can fucking get. It's 94 equipment score on this, which is really like rolling Last mid on it's it's mid on every single stat. It's basically useless for me. I have nobody that can use these. It's below yep. average. Hey, look, at least Going you didn't roll as pile. bad as eight. As, 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 at least you didn't uh, go as I mean, bad as ATK did. ATK were, was the winner of. Uh, I don't know. So, so so far we're two two for two with unusable gear from what should be some of the most usable gear in the game. Two for two for completely unusable gear. Oh yeah, my, mine fuck. Three up, three for two if you consider I spent eighteen hundred fucking sky stones. To make that neck still unusable, I'm still not yeah. over that. So, so, so ATK's necklace yesterday was base attack, base speed, like 20% defense, 16 crit chance. Yeah. You, you, you can it, look was, it was up. like it was like 90 equipment score. It was, it was the worst piece I'd seen by a landslide. Okay, let's look around. Okay, so uh, you were looking for light mobs, Charfade, right? Yeah, light fodder. Okay, so. There's a, there's a level three doggo chilling out over here just to the left of the exit portal, so not too far away. So you got him, and over here, <laughs> bef better get it before Okami finishes it off, but there's a light snake over here just to the right of the portal. So you've at least got four light fights, and that'll be enough to get you. It, it's just at, at the southern prongo portal. Four fights. I mean, these are worth 150 XP each. So, uh, you know, Dub Dub is jumping on it like like a freaking fly on crap. So you better get over there fast. <laughs> but uh, four fights would definitely get you to level four. Heck, two fights would probably yeah, maybe not two, maybe three would get you from level two to level four. Depends how close you are. But I know down by this snack, I think there's another one over here. Let me look at the map. Yeah. Both elements. Is that okay, good enough to so, so uh this this number three snack right here is uh is this guy right here. So after it's dead, you can wander up here and there's another level two one right here that nobody has gotten to yet. So uh yeah, you got plenty of light fights here to get you to level four, man. I just head for one uh head head for one of those two areas. The altar on the next floor costs 10 provisions, gives 150 XP. Yes, uh, for reference, um, a fight costs 5 provisions, and if you fight a level 3 mob, that gives you 150 XP. So it's double the cost of fighting a level 3 mob on this floor, but it doesn't take any units away. Um, it's substantially worse than fighting a mob on the next floor, so it's not a way to artificially... Um, boost your levels high. It's a it's a way to catch up so that you'll be able to do things on this floor. They kind of made it the equivalent of fighting level three mobs. They made it better than say your level two fire. They made it better to go through and use that device rather than run all the way heckin around the map to find a monster to fight and then running all the way back to the portal. Uh, 
uh, all elements are basically the same. They all have a job, right? Red, green, and blue's job is killing the wardens. Dark's job is killing the first prongo. Light's job is killing the last prongo. And um, which one is most beneficial to you? There are none that are more, most beneficial to you. There are ones that are most beneficial to your guild. You want to try to make sure wherever your guild is struggling. If you notice that you killed the green and blue wardens fast, but the fire warden took forever to kill, maybe you should go fire. If you uh, talk to your guild mates and everybody went light and dark, but nobody went blue, then you definitely want to go blue. Uh, as far as what's most beneficial to you, though, I would avoid going dark unless you have uh, Mediator, Quaric, or um, ML Politis. Ideally, both of them. Those two are so good and so important to this. If you don't have those two units, you maybe don't go dark. Light is kind of loaded with good units. I think... Um, Green is probably the easiest element to do. So I don't know. I, I hope that helps. If you aren't sure, just grab one and dive in and kick some ass. But uh, focus only on two elements. You don't want to be a jack of all trades, master of none, that's for sure. Oh, man, I'm looking at my route for floor two. It's miserable. But get on it quick, then. I can teleport three spots at a time now. Okay, we're gonna get a new Are you, you, relic. Uh, you... Boom, oh, well. give me a good one, give me a good one, give me a good one. Five's where I get a new relic, right? Um, Vitality, bro. Yep, that's the one. Man, you are literally d using my dream one. Still don't have the uh, Wanderer's Pipe, but... This is really good. This is really, really good. So I don't need to use this Relic Shrine. Is that first phase Prongo floor? Um, Let's look. When we make these maps, one of the things that we do for you is we put in red shading. And if, okay, so there is no red shading. So yes, it's confirmed. Where is he? Yeah. Otherwise, we would put a red shaded box around it if it's not confirmed. Holy hell, dude. Mine rolled really bad. There. Title's fixed. Sorry, guys. Oh, I just saw char fades. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm going to probably re-roll mine. Normally, I wouldn't, but, like, I, it's 90 equipment score, bro. I'm going to re-roll that, I think. But it, for 18,000, Jim, I mean, okay. No, I no, don't, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I already, don't even start the vine. That, that was low. That was low. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Still asleep. Oh yeah, if it's that, if it's uh, gonna be like that, I think we're you better, uh, it. you better hurry, Charfade. <laughs> Dub is over here slaughtering these lights. All right, so I guess I should. You just might want to head over for a commie. I fucking hate this guild. For for God's sake, I fucking hate this guild. Every Look at this. time. Look at this beautiful teleport, man. Four steps, and it's only gonna cost me two. Wait, Okami's also slaughtering them? Well, I don't know if he is or not. I saw Okami ha chilling out over oh, here by this guy. Uh, you know, you know. Yesterday, there's another light like, one right here, by the way. You know, I was trying to I was trying to organize with multiple people yesterday to uh to take out the light mid boss so we could all get some xp together like it was me charfade scorpion leo we're all in the area i was like okay i'm gonna hit it for a little bit of damage like with just one throwaway unit and then like you know you guys hit it and then tomorrow i'll kill it and we can all move on mm -hmm. and then as soon as i was saying that okami came in one shot the fu literally teleported in one shot it and then just went oops and i'm like yeah <laughs> oops oops Oh, this is nice. It'd be nice if they said level four instead of levels two to four, because <laughs> level two is going to really struggle. But it's it's nice that they actually put a note in no, there. No, 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 no. You misread it. It's Ancient Dragon's Tomb Zone 2 is four. Oh, 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 oh. You're right, you're right, you're right. That's still pretty nice that they at least warned you. It's like, if you go here and you're level one, you're getting your ass handed to you. <laughs> My my uh, exploration level is low, but my both of my elements are four, so that's why I, I hit up. I hit the tombstone today, and I got the I got lucky with the double level. 
double XP again, so I'm, pr I'm almost exploration level six. Oh, look at this guy sitting right here. But I, uh, it, it, Charfade, if you get yourself to level four quick and you jump in, man, there's a level four baddie like right here by the entrance. Nobody's hit it yet. You'll be able to zoom up the charts. Yeah, here's the problem. I think I'm heading for that right now. Better I'm hurry, man. Man. Divine's Divine's got his sights on your prey, man. <laughs> In fact, I think I know. I think I'm literally doing it right now. Do I want to go for the relic thing? What relic thing? I, w I was thinking if I go for the relic trophy, but I don't think I do. I think I'm just heading straight out. Just give me out. I mean, unless there is a relic that you want, then I would do it because the relic trophies are the far as far away as you can get from anything on this floor. Is there one I want? Okay, so. I get I'm going for dark prongo again. So if light is down here, then dark is most likely up in this neck of the woods. In fact, let's help the map guys out a little bit. I can't even see up there, so I can't even use my telescope to look. Are you the same colors as we, Tristan? I'm. I am. Uh, I'm light with a. You're primary green. I'm primary light. We, we're the same elements, but different for what's backing up our primary. I'm level three, but my fire is six. It's pretty good, man. Six is solid. I guess I'm running this this time. Okay, so... I'm going to go boink, 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 and then fight this guy. Yeah, because like being guy, primary yeah. green is like trash right here. That's why One, I was two, saying. Three, I was like, oh. Uh, I got a bunch of fights up here. How much yeah, provisions look do I have? 63 so let me see this will be five get this by two four get this yeah, i think i got plenty okay so let's try this here get a backpack And then it is literally straight across. So if I go here, I should be right beside it. Nice. Get it. And... I wish I had the movement relic this time. Go up to here. It's really nice. Here. I know. I was the one that showed you last time. If I go <laughs> here, I'll be between the monster and the backpack. So I will go here. Oh, it's so good. Get the backpack. What do I get at level six? Uh, exploration info here at level six. I get two more keys. Prevent. Okay, nothing special. It's at level seven. I get a new relic slot. Okay, I just, so I think I'm just gonna go grab these backpacks that are sitting around me, just because. Well. I'm the lowest like exploration level I think at the guild. My it's weird my characters are the highest level, but my exploration is trash. Okay, can Blaze Dingo solo this thing? Look at this beastie. You said to have one to two elements. How many units of that element should I have? You should, um, okay, so um, this map page right here, right? Here is a link. If one of you guys could pin this, I'd appreciate it. Map page with guides. Okay, so so if you, uh, if you click on this link, it'll take you to this map page, right? If you scroll out of the map page and look up here at the top, you're going to see a bunch of tips and tricks on how to run this thing. The thing I want you to focus on is this third picture and Derp's written guide. Derp put together a really good guide for this. If you click on it and fire it up and go to Derp's guide here, and sorry for the flashbang, if I turn dark mode on, it really messes with the map page for some reason. Um, this is a really nice intensive guide. Now it's like nine pages, so it's a lot of reading, but if you, uh, if you scroll down a little bit, it's got a real nice section that will suggest 
based on the element you pick, what are some good heroes? Now, you don't pick all of these, but it'll give you a good idea and why they're good. Edward is good for soloing mobs, so he'll be used for fighting normal monsters for leveling. Same with Fire Ravi. And it's the same thing for water units. He has highlighted really key important ones. I think you don't go with the elements unless you have uh, at least a couple of the highlighted ones because they're so good in this. Um, so this will give you a good list of units to take. Then you can go down and there are the elite mob comps and kits and it'll tell you things like if you wanna kill the, the light mini boss, here is a really good team to do it. So maybe you want these four units if you're gonna go mini boss hunting. If you wanna kill the fire mini boss, maybe you grab you know a pool of these three, four, you know, these four or five units if you wanna be the mini boss killer for that. Then he gets on a little further for your primary job. If you're RGB, your primary job is killing the Wardens. So you want to make sure if you're killing the Ice Warden that you have these four units or these four units. Ideally both so you can hit it twice. If you're going to be Earth and you want to kill the Earth Warden, maybe you have these four units or these four units or ideally both so that you'll be better equipped to kill the Fire war or the Earth Warden. If you're light and dark, same thing goes. Here's a team for killing the dark prong or the light prongo. And um, he's working on a secondary team, but I can tell you this team works really, really good. Just replace uh, Assassin Sid. I think you use Kitty Clarissa up here in place of Lone Crescent Bologna, and that way you can use Commander Lorena down here and replace Kitty Clarissa with another DPS support or dual attack unit, like maybe Sinful Angelica. So there's a lot of different options. You want to make sure you have four units in reserve to do your job. If your job is killing Prongo, make sure you have those four units on hold. If your job is killing the uh, Wardens, make sure you have four units on reserve for killing the Wardens. Eight would be ideal, but give yourself enough spare units to slaughter mini bosses to level yourself up. The rest you just load with mini bosses. And if you intermix elements, there's no reason you can't intermix elements. Um, Sue did this team right here, but he you, he also picked up light as a backup element, and he replaced Mercenary Helga with um, light Camilla, and da you know, damn near did 50% of the thing's health in one attack. It was really well done. Um, he also replaced um, Lilka with um, Albedo, who works surprisingly well because she's got a defense break, and I think her mitigation really kept him alive. It was a big brain move. So anyway, hopefully this guide will help you like figure out what units to take. And remember, if you make a mistake, if you screw up and you pick a unit and you go, wow, I wish I just didn't have this unit anymore. This, this unit's not working out for me. You can go in here, you can highlight it, and you can click withdraw. Now, mind you, you can only withdraw 10 times each season. So once you've withdrawn 10 units, you can't withdraw anymore, and you're just stuck with the roster you have. I've already done three withdrawals to make room for other units, so I can only withdraw seven more the rest of the season. So use that sparingly. Don't try to re-kit your, uh, your entire team, but it gives you enough where if you mess up early on and you maybe pick four or five elements and you go, ooh, I should have really just concentrated on one or two, you can get rid of the chaff. Or if you, if you go, I really thought Abigail would be good for this, and it turns out she's not good for anything, you can withdraw her. So it gives you a little bit of flexibility. Hopefully that helps you out, natural gamer. I see Archon got the short end of the stick in guild chat. Yikes. <laughs> that's like purple gear, man. Well, that's, I bet that's I, what mine that's what mine rolled basically. I bet I, I know, rolled 90, 93, something like that. Bet I know what PC's resetting. Oh man. This should have been me. It should have been me! Oh Not look at look at look at friggin' look at friggin' dub. Dub just knocking it out of the park. I hate this guy. Not Charfay, not only did he get perfect gear, he is currently stealing the fights you need to level up. What what do we think about this guy? Okay, for real, for real though. Blaze Dingo looks pretty good. Speed and crit set. I could probably ditch crit set for pen. And he needs 
an artifact. So let's see. Have any pen laying around? That'll work. Nice. And what's a good artifact for him? I don't think he really needs Celestine. I think he's going to heal enough. For who? Blaze Dingo. 420 Dingo. Something that gives him more turns. Or speeds him up, I'd say. Oh, you know what? Brilliant, brilliant. Holy shit. Idols fucking cheer. <laughs> Since he'll be the only one on the team, that's going to give him tons of turns. By Strider, what'd you get? Does it work oh my it? god, that's my dream. That's my dream piece. Holy crap. This would have let this piece right here would have let me cancel my Artena crafting event and just use this and make something better. It's exactly what I wanted. And oh man, screw you. I hate you for doing that. I don't really. That's just envy talking. I'm trying to be a better person. Fuck you. Sorry. Baby steps. Nice piece. <laughs> Nice pee. Tristan, I got a question for you. For the elites, would it be better to shoot... Hang on, it scrolled up. Would it be better to shoot or not if someone... If someone can do the boss? Would it be better to one-shot or not if someone can do the boss? Um... I think ever, uh, last season, the elites were really important for power leveling people who made mistakes, right? People who, like, like say, Charfade, for example, is just level two, and he went straight to this floor, and now suddenly he can't fight anything, and he's kind of stuck. The elites are a catch-up mechanic, where he can just run over, attack it with a single unit, die, and then you clear the elite for him. He gets the experience points, and it power levels him. You can still do that to hold hands and help people out who are behind, but... I think people are educated enough on it right now that it's not that big of a deal. So, I, I don't What'd know. It just depends. If people, if you see people in your guild are making mistakes, then uh, then sure. But I think if everybody's going, whoa! Okay, 420 Dingo did not cut it by himself. That was great, dude. If you see everyone in your guild is like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> if you see everyone in your guild is screwing up, then maybe you can work the elites. I, I was just what running a uh, speed set on him. Um, well, God, I wasn't... My gift? Oh, there it is. Oh, thank you. That gives me five okay, screw-ups. Oh. Oh. Um, oh. Do we have anyone online, by the way, that is fire? Because routing for green is awful. It's so bad that I kind of want to pivot to light. <laughs> It's that bad, Tristan. When you take a look at the map when you're done, uh, like I haven't made any more moves because I want you to see how bad the routing is for blue, like yeah. as in like being gr green primary. I don't want to take anybody but Blaze Dingo for this. I should have been able to one shot it. I guess I just got hit so damn hard. You got death broken. That's the problem. Oh, so let's put a fucking um. You think we should put a, a Stella? And try it again. Uh, I'm gonna try it with Stella. If this doesn't work, I'll just have to two man it. I don't want to waste more than two provisions on a fight. There's only four green units on the entire floor. They really want to just kind of force us to use. Are there a higher amount of light and dark units, I wonder? I wonder if they saturated it with light and dark and are saying, hey, the rest of you RGB scrubs, here is your spirit sanctum.
Now, there's a ton of stuff for me to fight that is, you know, that levels green characters. The problem okay. is, is that I have to take the absolute worst pathing unless we have somebody we who's play the smart. Red on. We gab up, and then they can't do shit to me. Okay, so it's the back. I'm not sure who Michael Strevig is. Hang on. I, let me see who this is, guys. Sorry. Work calls. Please take care, everybody. Sorry about that, guys. Um... Okay, so Blaze Dingo is not soloing because the defense breaks are too just awful. So I hate to do it, but we'll do this. Um, the uh, Season 9 written guide. Um, let me see if I can pin this. It does not like me. Hang on here. Map. And the guide. So give me one second. Uh, I've actually got to go to my own damn Twitch channel. It won't let me pin things from OBS. Isn't that great? And... Here we go. Pin message. Yes. There we go. Okay, so... Uh... This pinned message, if you go to the Miro room maps and you, uh, where the maps are, right? And, and you scroll all the way to the top of the map room right here, derp the, ja derp the Jags written guide. Click on that, click on his link, click on the link again, and here's your season nine guide. So hopefully that helps you guys out.
that map is also uh, pinned in my Discord, and it's also in um, pretty much every single video I post, so you can look at my video history as well. Okay, surely Tywin is all we need for this, right? Surely. Look at all those resists. The season nine one's nice because it includes a lot of the, like Shaltier and Albedo are actually quite good in this. Ow, freaking burned my ass. These little dragon a-holes that can defense break. We need to get rid of those things fast. Any other questions I missed while I was talking to... Talking to that guy? Okay, good. Yeah, any fight where you're dealing with debuffs, Tywin's really, really good. Especially just provoking the one that puts the defense break. Nice defense break. Yeah, we tried to put a lot more info on the map page to make it a little bit, you know, cleaner and easier for people to use. We might have to find another page other than Miro, though, because uh, it's starting to slow down on us. Okay, gold shield up. Stun everybody. That's clean. And that's why Tywin's so good at this. And he does so much damage. Tywin's damage stats are really good. So you can actually... I've got him on Our Beautiful Season, so he hits even harder. Man, that bird woman hits hard. Okay, two hits killed my dingo. Holy shit on a stick. We might be in trouble, guys. I'm gonna be so mad if this loses. We need one more hit. Don't die. It's a better kill. I was gonna get to watch oh, you almost God. waste the position <laughs> they gave you. I'd have been yep. so mad. <laughs> Good guy, Divine. Loud Thank God, level again. five. Um, I think I need to leave this. I think I need to go over here because, and do four attacks here and kill this before I run out of provisions. And, and open the way, because people are going to want to get through that aren't purple and green, right? Yep. And that'll leave some meat on the bone for other people building light, too. Um... 
Can we Camilla Auden this, you think? Gears in such shambles right now. Okay, what do you think? Should we uh, should we put her on um, like Golden Rose or Sigurds or something to keep her healthy? I think we maybe do. Fence break. Nice. Nice, uh, nice hit through my evasion. The attack down was especially fun. Thanks for that. Big defense break. Bam! Camilla, uh, Camilla Auden, by the way, super sick two-man team. <laughs> This should work, right? Caladra, that's good. We take it. ML Lilies with any decent self-sustaining DPS should be really good too. I'm wasting my heal early because I want to get the damage up. Has max border coin, so I should be somewhere around like 300 speed now. Don't need the S2 because that's barriers, that's my sustain. Burn this to hit everybody. Stun? What kind of BS is that? This will barrier up, help protect her a little bit. how fast Lilius is going with those border coin procs. <laughs> Just zooming down that bar. I'm 
No, her damage mitt does not work in PvE, but she's here mostly because her S3 heals and because I can soul burn her and hit AoE, and also because she gives this nice Destro buff, which on the earlier floors is really nice because we're not capped out on crit damage yet. That's really, really annoying. <laughs> well, barrier. I, I will probably swap her out by the time we get to floor three because the crit damage buff won't be that big of a deal. And she'll only just be there as a healer damage dealer. Man, the stun RNG on this is just savage. Remember when you're fighting normal mo mobs naturally, you want to try to do it with one and two man mobs. Yeah, Fire Robbie's insane early game fire too. <laughs> She's just really, really good. The four man teams, you want to use Derp's guide and build yourself four man teams with that. And then the rest of your teams are going to be, you notice every single fight I'm doing, I'm one and two manning it because I want to have, um, I want to have the ability to, oh, you know what? Landy can't be stunned. Um, uh, put Landy in with lots um, I'm trying to do two-man teams because every time you do a fight you can't use the units the rest of the day so I'm trying to preserve so I can do more fights with less units stop bouncing I can't click on the number I hate these things there we go freaking bouncing hit boxes Nice counters you got there, Landy. You can wake up any time now. Four Leaf Clover's nice, but it is only a 50-50 chance to proc. Never freaking proc for me. Ow, stop hitting my poor lots. Um... I really got to heal myself. No salvos, no counters, no Elbrus. Still no counters, salvos, or Elbrus. <laughs> Hey, we got a salvo. About time you woke up. Wonder if she remembers she's on counter set or not. That's a lot of 30% to miss there. Yeah, those are good choices, natural. Look down at the teams. If you're gonna go with light, you're gonna be fighting the dark team. So look at building the dark teams and then just look at units that are good. I mean, you can look at what I'm using as well. Maybe not green lots if you're not building green as well, but you wanna look for things that can do really good at, at one and two manning the fights to help you build faster. Camilla is just really, really, really strong here because she's loaded with dual attacks. Attack down. We'll have to soul burn to force <laughs> these salvos. I swear to God, I'm going to look at her, and if she's missing gear, okay, she actually is on counter set. It's just the worst counter set ever. Hey, Sue and Divine, are you guys still here? Did my headset stop putting you through I, again? I believe okay. I, I'm quite alive, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make sure I didn't lose you. 
Elite mobs give XP when entering and then again to all when participating with fish, right? Correct. Correct. Um, the, the XP for those mobs drops when they're dead. So if you've got somebody in your guild who's struggling, have them tag along with you, hit the elite mob once, fail, and then you finish the elite mob off for them and they get a, they get a good chunk of experience from it. Otherwise, just murder stomp them and get the rewards and XP. Um, only if your guild is lagging behind, uh, Uro, the, um, that was kind of a way to help people level up, but I think the, the cat's out of the bag that, um, you need to make sure you're level like three or four before advancing to the next floor. So fewer people are going to be caught with their pants down being on a higher level, but if, and, and with the spirit shrine, the spirit sanctum being able to level red, green, blue, it... They, they put in some mechanics to help people when they get trapped, so we didn't have to play games like trying to coordinate everybody through mobs. Now, if you're uh, if you're that level of organized, then yeah, for sure, everybody hits it once, and then the, the last guy finishes it off is going to be the best XP for your guild overall. But that's a that's a level of micromanaging and min maxing that I just think would make this not fun. <laughs> but if you can coordinate with some people, then yeah. You, you can say, hey, anybody else running dark, I'm going to get ready to kill this, run over and hit it before I kill it if you want the XP. Just depends how, uh, how much effort you want to put into organizing this. No reason not to do it other than it'd be like herding cats for our guild. Nah, put, is it here? Did you put it here? I'm happy for you. I'm really, really happy for you, Charfade. That's great. So happy. <laughs> okay. This is worth 180. I need, uh, wow, I need 3 XP to get to level 6. Really needed 3 XP. I tell ya. Um, let's just use Mirsa and Dorcas. Check the artifacts this time. That's fine, that's fine. Where's Landy? She had a freaking level 30 Elbrus. It never procced. The entire fight, Elbrus never procced. <laughs> and counter set proc like, what, twice? That's crazy. Mursa is really, really good at this, by the way, guys. If you, uh, if you're, if you're running light, she is fan freaking tastic. Her soul burn can one shot just about anything. On life steal, she heals a lot. She cycles fast. She's got evasion. She's basically a light version of Rylet. Bam. Rats hit a lot. Rats, rabbits. These rats are rabbits. Whatever it is, it's dead. Bam. Oh, it lived. That's not who I clicked on, you stupid bouncing. Uh, the hitboxes in this game leave a lot to be desired. Yeah, Landy is really good for clearing, uh, clearing content. 
She self heals, self pushes. Yeah, you can 100% light. You'll eventually cap it out, right? You'll eventually get to a point where your light's level 10. And then you'll probably wind up just using the Spirit Sanctum to... Or, or use... There's no reason that you can't go into... Like, say, you get your light to level 10 and you're on floor 3 and you think, Well, now what do I do? I could bring up another element, but they're all level 2... All level 1. Well, you can go and fight a, uh, a, a blue fight to boost your green elements. And just take your light team into it and kill it, and it will power level your blues. You don't have to take the element into the fight to level it. You just have to kill the opposite element, you can kill it with whatever. I could take a green team, a full green team into this, kill this guy, and it would boost my, uh, it would still boost my light, my light team. And that again is why I recommend people stick with one primary element and then work on the secondary, is you can use your primary element to boost your secondary later in game. Um, burn and bam. Well, that wasn't a very big bam. Should have waited for attack buff. Blinded. Resisted. Stunned. Stunned! <laughs> This BS. Hey Abner, thanks for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the Wolf Pack. Stop hitting. I wanted to burn this with an attack buff, but now I got an attack down. Stupid game. Blind mouse. Okay, right, burn. burn with an attack buff. This should hit hard. Bam. Nice. About 20% of its health in one hit. It's starting to ramp up, though. I need to get this thing down fast. Go, wait for that Mercy special to change. The second she starts pushing up, once she gets hit, it's over. Mercy specially change would be amazing. I I'm with Sue. She is high up on my list of units. I want to stop hitting through my evasion. Holy shit! If this hits Mercy, she might be dead. Well, <sighs> three hits in a row. Me. Seventy percent evasion. Three hits in a row. This could take a while. Oh my God, this is doing like 2% per hit. Come on. Hey, grats, Rastafarius. I really thought Rift would be out by now. Maybe, I don't know. It's looking a little dodgy.
That slow debuff killed me. Um, okay, wait, I cleansed it. I think it's over. It's over. Who am I kidding? Doris is too good. It's over now. They're starting to hit just too hard for me to live it. This thing doesn't eventually like frenzy or anything, right? I don't... Well, there you go. Yeah. <clears throat> I was about oh, to wow. say, I see speed attack up after it hit you, so I'm pretty sure. Yep, yep, yep. That's their How about we put Doris up front instead of Mursa? <laughs> Maybe this will be a little cleaner. You gotta admit, for a second there, it looked like she was gonna pull it off, didn't it? Unfortunately. Unfortunately? Yeah, it looked like you were also the type of guy to fucking pick third, to pick band protected third pick uh, Horizon, I mean, not Horizon, uh, Shooting Star Arcades. That's what it looked like there for a second. That sounds diabolical. I kind of like it. Uh, hey, Elmaz, thanks for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the wolf pack. I hope they change AI up again soon. I mean, this is kind of getting uh, a little bit no old. Way. The no way. This doesn't get changed for at least another year. I mean, maybe they rotate, you know? Maybe they alternate old style, new style kind of a thing. I, I think they would have already. The, no. the problem, oh, go ahead. The problem with old style is that it involves, I don't know, it just involves content. Like, I can't think of anything they've gone back to the old version of, right? I think that's my first problem. And I think my, my second biggest problem is that, like, I think they don't, they want AI solved. I don't think they want it changed. I think they want it solved. It That's was what solved. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, they, from their perspective, they want it solved. So it's just like, okay, the content is just good enough that the player base is just happy enough with it that we don't have to change it for a long enough time, right? As long as possible. They don't want it to be interesting or fresh. They just want it to be okay. Until they, until they're like, okay, we better fucking fix and change this thing. I don't know. I just, I don't mind it because I know how to do it and because I'm in a very organized guild. But this is boring yeah, and repetitive. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's going to get old the same way that, like, what was it? Bringing fucking knights and so warriors no. and so no, that didn't that didn't get old because you could spend ten to fifteen minutes a day and you finished your AI for the day. This, you can't. This, you gotta spend a couple hours <laughs> in AI to level your units. You can't just, uh, you can't just go in, do your things, wander around, explore, get your XP, let the rest of the guild carry you. You want your rewards, you gotta participate. You can't go on vacation at any point in time in that two weeks or you just miss out. I, I, I don't like that. I, I like it in concept, and I think this was cool for a couple of times, but... I think by AI 3, people aren't going to be looking forward to it anymore. The gear's not going to be good enough to be looking forward to it. People are just going to roll their eyes and go, oh, God, this crap again. I got to chalk out a an hour out of my day every day to do PvE and that I'm just not into. Yeah, I don't think that's I okay. Also yeah, this is Zone 2, Vandal Striker. Yeah. I don't know. It's... Yeah, not putting free on equip over top of AI. 
that should be done. Well, honestly, there's so many small, annoying things about AI I wish they change. I wish you could just see the map as far as, like, your team has explored. Like, yeah. I just want to be able to tell, like, did this motherfucker kill all the light units on the way over to the boss? Am I going to have to go a different way to get XP, or am I okay? That's all I want to know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it's yeah, like, Charfe nope. had to come in and rely on asking me if stuff was if stuff was available. That's not okay. Yeah, but that's just it's annoying. On some level, you know, like on some levels, just like oh, you know, we have this artifact that lets you see you, so the guild could scout things out for you. It's just like, what are you? Why is your game design like reliant on me logging into Discord and going, hey, uh, hey guys, what's going on? Uh, hey there, Spatial Sonic Seven Seven Seven. Do you know uh? Do you know if there's any dark units around you? <laughs> the map says there should be. Okay, level six. What is out here in the great beyond? Let's see. We are right here. There's a mini boss. Every time I look. Every time I look at this map, I have to. I can only think of how many communities would actually care enough to do this for Epic Seven. I could go up here and grab the tent, and I could fly it up here and hit this mini boss. I think I might be out of juice after that. The backpacks here. How many provisions do I got? Twenty-one. Okay, so right here, one, two, three, four, and I can get the backpack. One, two, three, four, and I can get the tent. One, two, three, four, and I can hit this. I think that's going to be about all the juice I have for today. Let's try it. So this should put me right beside a backpack. There it is. I can't believe the backpacks and tombstones are the same value on level 2 and 3 as they are on level 1. That blows me the F away. Max level's 10, right? Max level is 10. Expiration level? Right? And max, yeah. yeah, 10 for everything. Honey, you had a hard day. Rest up. Um, uh, yes and no. Um, natural gamer, I, I did make a map that, but you know, the map is basically just um, it's basically was just uh. If you're on the, um, you know, if you built fire elements, you work your way towards the green warden. So you go this way, this way, this way, whatever it takes to get you here at the highest level green. If you are running green units, it was go this way, this way, and this way, and get whatever, you know, whichever path works best for you to get you highest level to ping as many of these little blue fights on the way that you need to get your green level up so that you're good to fight the Ice Warden. If you're dark, then you go any route, any side route, whatever, to get to the light prongo, fighting light mobs along the way, light mobs along the way so that you're strongest to hit this guy and, say, and lather, rinse, repeat with all of them. So you want to coordinate with your guild. You want to, you know, you don't want to go, um, you don't want to go straight up this way if all of these light mobs are already gone. You maybe want to go this way where you can catch this light mob or even do a big dog leg over here and catch this light mob, this light mob, and then work your way back over to, to the fight. You may want to wind up going south and clip these light mobs and then head back north if you're fighting dark. So it just depends on the element you're picking. Just try to take a path that takes you past mobs that level you. And once you get to a decent level, say level three or four for floor one, level six or seven for floor two, then you start making your way towards your target so that when the target appears, you're ready to attack it. Okay. 
Okay, so... Right beside the green meanie, right here, that means I should be right beside the mini boss. Nice. Oh, there's another one of these things. Well, let's put that on the map. Let's see, that is... If you guys find stuff that is not on the map yet, please let me know so I can update the map. If you are light, then you want to go south to where the Dark Prongo is going to appear if you're still on floor number one. If Dark Prongo has already been killed on floor one, you just want to wander around and do as many fights as you can to level up and then head to floor two. Okay. We want to take a full ass team into this. We don't have a lot here. I think we need to enlist some people. I could enlist from here. Exploration info, enlist, there we go. Oh, hell, I don't have any more spots to enlist. Well, I guess we're going in with what we got. I could teleport over here and restore my units, but I don't really think I need to. Let's do Cavill. Let's do Horchata. Let's do... Wow, we really don't have anything else, do we? I guess Senya. Or is it Landy on Bloodstone? I think it's Landy on Bloodstone, right? I think it's our best bet. Landy, I mean, she's low level, but... We take what we can get. Cavill on ducks is fine. Orchata. Maybe I don't want my healer to be taking it in the teeth. Let's put her on an actual healing artifact. I am much better with dark spatial, is what I'm finding. Um, light is really, really good, really diverse, but I'm finding that uh, last season I played dark and I am a lot smarter with it. <laughs> light, the, the light fight I did yesterday was freaking embarrassing, but the second team was okay. It was kind of almost painful to put that fight up on YouTube. I was like, man, this, uh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> okay, horchata. What's a good healing artifact for you? We got lots of people, so I think I'll go with Unfading. Dark has a harder time fighting uh, mobs, but they have an easier time killing the boss. The one thing that really sucks for Dark that's nice for Light is um, the first Prongo is the Dark units, and the second Prongo is the Light units, And but when you kill, when Prongo finally dies, he dies as a Dark unit, so Light units get XP. The Dark units who did the first half, they don't get crap. <laughs> so that's a little rough. There we go, unfading. Hello, lag. I thought I fixed that. Okay, so we got got bloodstone, ducks. Everything's good there. You should just be on golden rose, right? Yeah, okay. Let's see if this works. I didn't even read his kit, man. I didn't even read his kit. <laughs> Increased combat readiness. Okay, how about a speed buff for anybody then?
I don't have a defense breaker. <laughs> okay, that hit pretty good. I got no way to activate Lionheart Sermia. <laughs> Maybe we get a nice dual attack off of one of these baddies, right? Oh, shit! My landy's in trouble, guys. She is taking a dirt nap. Well, to be fair, she was only level 4 into a level 5 or 6 fight, whatever this is. Get rid of one of these. Oh, yeah, that's right. If you kill things, she kind of goes berserk and binds everybody. So you don't want AoE in this. May as well burn this. I don't know what we'd be saving the souls for. Why? There's a whole team of healthy people. Why would you hit the one person who could be one shot? That's okay. I'm not worried about doing a tremendous amount of damage to this boss because it's a dark boss and it's an accessible dark boss on the way to the light fight. So it's one a lot of people who are trying to build their light units up are gonna to wanna to chip into. I did 20% damage. That means like five or six other people can hit this thing and get the XP from it. And that's kind of good. So I'm, I'm totally okay with that. Uh, let me see, I've got 11 provisions left. Where is the map? Okay, so I'm right here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. It's nine provisions. No, four. It's nine provisions. One, two, three, four. Wait, can I? How, how can I get to this most efficiently? One, two, three, four. Damn, it's just one too far. It's just, I'm just going to be a little bit short on all of them. It's tragic. Should have, should have put myself here instead of here. Oops, move the hex. Oh, well, it is what it is. And I am where I am. Took three to use this, right? One, two, three, four puts me there. Yeah, moving in this range is really nice. 